Hey, Mike Lake here with Altabone.com. Today, I want to talk about recording yourself. Uh, because I can't think of a single activity that you could undertake that would improve your playing more than recording yourself and then listening back critically. Because for me personally, it's rare when I've watched a video or listened back to a recording of a live performance where I've played as well as I thought I did at the time. You know, my pitch on a particular phrase wasn't that good. That phrase wasn't as elegant as I thought it was at the time. I didn't pick up on what the piano player was doing at the time, and, you know, and so on. But by hearing those things after the fact, it makes an impression. It sticks with me. You know, I have something to practice or to be more aware of next time. So, I've created this video to show you how to effectively record yourself, whether you're practicing or performing, it doesn't matter. Um, it also doesn't matter what kind of equipment you have, uh, from a phone to a dedicated digital recording device to a multi-track setup to a digital audio workstation and beyond, right? Obviously, the better equipment you have, the more accurate the recording, but for the purpose of self-awareness of your playing and practicing, the equipment doesn't matter. Now, one of my most popular videos that I produced a while back was about recording. And for a while now, I've wanted to uh, produce an updated version of that video. But with the recent launch of my forum, I, I have even more reason to create this new video on recording. So, yes, I've recently created a forum on altobone.com because I want to create more community around my music and my books and videos and, and I want to provide a resource for people like you to get answers that you may not be getting elsewhere and maybe give you the opportunity to share your knowledge with other players. Because if you've ever written me, you know that I'm super thorough about responses, uh, whether that turns into a blog post, uh, a, a part of a video, or just a long email. Uh, I love giving, giving feedback on, on the questions I get, and hopefully this forum will allow me to do that with more players. This is not general everything there is to know about trombone forum. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be more narrow in helping guys uh, and gals find a resource to improve their playing in, in the areas that at least I think I can help with. Okay. One of the important features of the forum uh, that I hope you take advantage of is posting audio files of your playing. Now I know that sounds a little scary, but in order to motivate you, I'll be creating some contests and rewards for posting your playing. And to start things off, I've created a contest with a cash prize that's live right now as I'm recording this video. And to learn about it, just read the description on the video. And from time to time, I'll create new contests and new bonuses, and I'll replace what I've written about the current one with a new description so that you can keep current and know when to... Uh, uh, submit something and post online and sub, uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel because that'll give you a sense of when that's new. So one of the things I want to quickly show you in this video is how to post a file, how to upload a file within a topic reply on the forum. So recording yourself playing along with the track and then posting it online, especially if you've never done that before, may seem difficult. So I'm making a video here on the different ways you can record yourself from simply putting your phone on a table with an app to a dedicated digital recording setup to multi-track. And you know, you should know that any of these challenges I post, including the one that's up right now, it's not judging you on recording quality. I don't really care about the recording quality as long as I can hear clearly your playing versus what you're playing with. I'm much more interested in the playing quality and the musicality. You know, at, at some point I may uh, post something on, on you know, uh, recording quality, but I think that that'll be the exception rather than the rule. Now, before we start recording on some of the devices, let me offer a couple of tips. First of all, record in a, in a dry room, as dry a room as you can find, because the sound bouncing off walls in a normal size live room is not a pleasant sound, especially for trombone. Try and, try and be able to record in a room with lots of furniture and rugs and stuff in the room to dissipate the sound um, so that you're not just having like four walls, the sound bouncing off four walls. Tip number two, mic placement or phone placement. Um, try and aim the phone so that it captures the background recording if you're doing something with a background 
and your playing, okay, as you play. Now, how close should you be to the mic? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna play around with that, but you really need to, to, to test that and to see where that sweet spot is to where you may be distorting because you're too close or it sounds too distant, you're too far away. You gotta kind of find that sweet spot and uh, I'll show you where kind of I think it is as I, I start to record. So let's record on a phone and listen back. I'm gonna use one of the tracks that I'm offering up for the current contest, which is uh, on SoundCloud and associated with Trombone Improvisation Savvy. And there's a list, if you go to the forum, on the various soundtracks that you can play against. So let's play that with the phone and hear what that sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna record on the phone and I'm using an app called iTalk. And honestly, I haven't tried 100 apps. Um, I think the hardware of the phone is the hardware of the phone. This does have a, be a good, better, best selection on recording quality. Uh, and, and the best is definitely better than the so-called good. I think it's probably the bit rate at which it records at. It probably takes more memory at the higher, but it does sound better. So uh, I am going to play a track called Island Mines, which I'm going to use for this, which is from Trombone Improvisation Savvy. It's just the backing track used for some of the exercises. And I'm going to position the phone in such a way, kind of like the diagram I showed earlier, where I'm kind of getting 45 degree angle from the speakers and then me. And I'm going to hit record and the track. Now, let's say you want to upgrade your sound. You could do that with a digital recorder like this. This is a, a Zoom H6, costs about 350 bucks, and it definitely sounds pretty good, definitely better than the phone. Um, one of the things I liked about this, and I'm not a rep for them, I don't really care what you buy, but there's a lot of features on this, and I'm not going to go into all of them, but on a digital recorder like this, you have the option of external sound sources. So for example, you could plug a mic into line one and you could plug your stereo backing track into uh, two of the other inputs and get some nice separation and control the balance between your horn and the track. Uh, and I'm going to use the attached that comes with it, stereo mic, and again, I'm going to stand back about six feet. I'm going to aim one of these to me, I'm going to aim one of them to the backing track. So let's record that and see what it sounds. Now we're going to record on the Zoom. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention was it records on an SD card, so you just pop the SD card in, put it in your computer, or you can hook up uh, through basically the power cord, which is a USB cord that goes in there as well. So it's pretty easy to transfer back and forth, and we'll talk about that in a second. So I'm gonna position this so that one of the stereo mics is pointed to that, the other stereo mic is pointed to me, and I'm gonna drop the playhead similarly, and we'll see what this sounds like. <laughs> Now let's use the big gun. Let's do. Let's record this live onto the Neumann, into the Apollo, into Logic, 
and we'll hear what that sounds like. I've brought in the, uh, the, uh, the room divider, as I call it, but it's basically used in this case as a dampening of the room sound. I mentioned earlier about having furniture and rugs and things. Well, this is kind of like my, my big gun in terms of cutting down the room noise. The other thing I'll do is I'll move back and forth from the mic. I did this on my last recording video and I can't really do it to the other, to the phone and to the zoom because if I get too close, it'll just start to distort. This won't distort, it'll just sound different. So with that said, let's see what that sounds like. And last, let's try this with separating the sound from what I'm playing. So in other words, um, I'm gonna have headphones on and I'm gonna play into the mic. And if you were here in the room, you wouldn't hear the backing sound. So that's kind of demonstrating what the separation sounds like. And I'm sure that I'll end up processing it a little bit just to kind of demonstrate what you can do once you've separated it like that. So let's hear what that sounds like. Now that you have recorded your sound file, let's talk about how to upload it to the altobone.com forum. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is log in. Now, if you have not yet registered, uh, please do so. Just hit register and you'll enter your username and password. If you have an account, just go ahead and log in. Choose the forum topic you wish to add to. In this case, let's say it's you have some of your alto trombone playing. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna create a new topic and I'm gonna say alto playing. Uh, here is my alto playing. And once I've done that, I'm going down here to the attachment. I'm gonna select a file. I'm gonna choose an MP3 file that you have uh, saved to your hard drive. Hit choose and there you go, it's up there. If you wanna add another file, just hit add other file, add, an, add another file and do the same thing. And go ahead and hit submit and you are done. Okay, so with all that, I hope you feel a little bit more confident to record yourself and post on the forum. It is so important that you regularly record yourself and then listen back because once you start, I think you're gonna hear how much you've been missing in terms of intonation and time and musicality, just kind of listening as you play in real time. So register for the forum at altobone.com forum and read the current description on this video to see if there are any contests or challenges currently in the forum. And regardless if there are or not, start to uh, uh, record or increase your recording of yourself and critically listening back. And I'm very eager to hear what your uh, reaction is to this and, and in, in whatever way it helps you uh, get a little bit better view of your playing. So good luck with that and uh, I'll talk to you on the forum.